This is the rear package area. Again, no headliner. It's like a round bar substructure. That glass is okay. Back side of the firewall. Although it's not sealed completely off. A little cabinet underneath there. Door hinge area. This is the uh, trunk release. It's on a cable going back to the back of the car. Not mounted to anything. He says the, well, the doors will open with the striker. Got a key fob to actuate everything. You can see a door structure there as it pops up. It's got a little jounce to it by a little misalignment. Okay, now we have the car up on, on the rack. A different perspective on the view. The sides of the car and stuff. And now we're looking at the working end of the car. It's the aftermarket drop beam. Foam shocks. It's like all new and good front ends uh, components. The gentleman did tell me that we had lined the car a year or so ago. There's the electric horn. The steering box has good good U joints. Looks like Borgeson U joints. Full box frame. Double rail supports in the center. Cracked the, took the uh, removal uh, cross member. Remove that bolt and then this cross member swings off this bar here so you can get the tranny in and out without pulling the engine out. Very good idea. They've installed this dry shaft safety loop. Another good idea. It's a Moroso trans cooler, dual heat sink style trans cooler. It's kind of hard to see, but this button. Let me switch lights. I switched the light. Light so you can get a little better idea what's going on here. Double rail off the frame. Sub support. Master cylinder. lid that comes off from inside. Portioning valve, residual valve. It drove the car to brakes do work very well. The car drives nice, doesn't have any rattles or shakes or anything. It's pretty smooth. Pedal assemblies. Mini starter. Transmissions are rebuilt 700R4. I'm a shopping Pumping her down the street from us. The exhaust you can see kind of crisscrosses under the car. Here's the passenger side out of the headers. It goes into a single Magnaflow stainless muffler. This thing, hey, you say Magnaflow. And it has like a shotgun style exhaust out the back. It's got the typical street ride style polyurethane four-link bars, that's the passenger side, driver side, it's 
say at one time it had different suspension type. It's got these plates with the joining plates on the rear differential, but there's nothing there now. Rear brake lines and brake hose hung properly. QA1 shocks, aluminum shocks. They do have a damping control on them. CA rear end cover. Fuel line, fuel feed line coming out of the car. It's a Nomex braided, braided line. Fuel filter. There's a steel line there. filter to a fuel pump or other motor doesn't seem to have any oil leaks on it it's very dry got a couple weeping spots but that's kind of typical for a motor like this American Racing aluminum wheels with the GM disc brakes. There's the disc brake caliper side GM unit. Stainless brake lines on the front. The Y block. There's the license plate. It's a fold-up style vacuum operate off the engine. Another shot of the car you can see is slight orange peel in the paint. There's the engine casting number 3999289, which relates to a 71 to 79 44 2 or 4 bolt main block. Okay, here's the car outside where we get some sunlight to show a little different perspective on it. Let's do a little walk around.